Is your husband getting defensive when you tell him how you feel? Hey guys, my name is Coach Danny and I'm your life and relationship coach. And today the topic obviously is, is your husband getting defensive when you tell him how you feel? So there could be a couple of reasons for this, but usually what I have found is when people get defensive, when you're explaining to them how you're feeling, the emotions that you're feeling, sometimes it comes off as they feel like they're getting blamed for something. And usually when somebody feels like they're getting blamed for something, they immediately get on the defensive. So it can be very difficult to have a productive, efficient conversation when somebody when with somebody when they feel that way. So then the question becomes, what are the reasons for why they are getting defensive? Like what, what is going on? Is it something that they are dealing with that they may not necessarily be aware of, or is it something that they are consciously aware of and they just do not feel like sharing? Um, the other part of that may just be the way that they receive information. You know, do they receive communication a specific way and you may not necessarily have figured that out yet? Or is it the way that you're delivering the message that they are not necessarily processing it the way that you would want them to process it? So I wanted to go over some of the the possible or the potential reasons for why your husband may be getting defensive. The first one um, might be that there are unresolved issues in the relationship, right? So if you guys are not the best at communicating, there's some issues that you guys have in regards to resolving issues. When those issues kind of just linger and stay underneath the surface and time goes by, you know, days, months, years sometimes, and things aren't resolved, it can start to kind of create some frustration, some resentments in the relationship. So when there is something that is bothering you and you want to express it to your husband, if there is something that he feels that was not resolved in regards to something he was feeling or something that he was frustrated about, they will most likely get on the defensive because there is something that I hear so often in my one-on-one -on -one sessions and it's the three magic words and it's, that's not fair. And basically what that means is if you are telling them, Hey, you know, this is how I felt about this. I wasn't really happy at the way that you delivered that message. Usually the comeback will be, well, that's not fair because, and that is how I know that there are some unresolved issues in the relationship. That's a good indication for you to know that there's some unresolved issues in the relationship. Um, and it really just kind of gets you into this cycle of, of blame, which can be very difficult to get out of. The second potential reason would be familial trauma or something that happened in their childhood and they may not necessarily know how to fully deal with their emotions and there's certain things that may trigger them. So if they felt like they got in trouble a lot as a kid and you are pointing something out that is bothering you, they may process that as they did something wrong. And immediately off the bat, that's going to trigger a defense mechanism. A, a wall will go up because they are trying to protect that hurt and that pain. Now, I'm not necessarily saying that that's the case with everybody, but there are some instances where some kind of childhood issues, familial traumas are involved. And if you may not be aware of them, then it'll be difficult for you to navigate a conversation with them. So my suggestion is to try to have an open conversation. Ask your partner, your spouse, your husband, how it is that they like to receive messages, how it is they like to be spoken to so that you in turn can work on how you communicate with them and that will potentially lead to better, more productive and efficient conversation. The third potential issue that is going on here is just they have things going on in their life. Um, stresses with work, um, maybe you know they had a falling out with a friend or they just haven't felt productive lately. They don't feel like they are succeeding in, succeeding in the things that they want to succeed in. And a lot of the times, if you are a married couple and you live together, you will pick up on those emotional cues. You will pick up on those dips in, in, in their energy. And what we often do as a spouse, and this is a common mistake that I see in a lot of my coaching sessions, is we make it about us. So it may not necessarily be that they are upset with you, but you take it as they, they are upset with you. You did something wrong. 
And because it's making you feel a particular way, then you express that to your spouse and then they get on the defensive because in the beginning, from the start, it had nothing to do with you and they may potentially feel like you're making the situation or the circumstance about yourself instead of just empathizing and being patient and allowing them to go through that process until they're able to kind of you know, get their energy back or, or work through the issues that they have. So just keep in mind, it may not necessarily always be something that you did or you're doing. Um, it's just something that they may be going through. I just wanted to give you guys um, some tips and tools as to how to deal with this, right? Because it can, it can be very frustrating. It can feel like you're trying to communicate, but you're not really getting through to them. So how do I go about getting through to my husband? How do I get through to my partner, to my spouse? One of the ways is self-reflection. Taking a look at yourself and seeing how it is that you are processing emotion and how it is that you are delivering the message. And a lot of the times when people feel like they haven't gotten their message across for days, weeks, months, years, it starts to come out as blame. It starts to come out like you're, you're, you're nagging your spouse and that can have a very negative effect and it's going to have the opposite effect of what you want. So think about how you approach the conversation. Think about how you present things, right? So are you saying to them, Hey, it's, it's been a while since you've, you've held my hand. You know, I really miss how it feels when you, when you hold me, um, do you mind holding my hand or can I hold your hand or, and as, as image as, as amateur as that may feel, if it's, if it's something that you are not used to the initial conversations and the, the initial needs and wants are going to be, or feel a little weird. Um, but it helps to open the conversation. It helps to kind of open that dialogue so that you can start to express yourself, but in a way where you were saying to them, hey, look, I completely understand if there's things that you're going through, but I'm just letting you know, this is something that I miss and I really would like it if we could do a little bit more of that. Oftentimes what happens is the actual message is delivered in this way. You don't touch me anymore. Does that mean you don't love me? And if that is how the message is being delivered, of course, your spouse is going to get on the defensive. Now, I'm not saying that all of you are doing that, but if that is something that is going on in regards to the dynamic of the conversation, it's something to take a look at. Another major one that I see quite often is the lack of consciousness when it comes to understanding body language. Body language is huge. Um, body language, I would say, accounts for 70% of the way that we communicate, right? So if you're having a conversation with your husband and you're explaining to them that way that you feel, but your arms are crossed and you're, you're pointing at them or you're rolling your eyes when they're responding to you, or you're, you're, you're using these types of physical responses or cues, your husband's going to get on the defensive. Because even though your message may be delivered and it's not necessarily the tone, the actual body language itself is showing your husband that you are on the defensive and that you are upset and that you are angry. So just be very hyper-conscious of your body when you are speaking. And this will help to eliminate some of those issues. If you guys related to this video, please make sure you hit the like or subscribe button down below. I love having open dialogue and conversations with people. So if you have any questions or if there's something that you want to mention about the video, something that I missed or something that you enjoyed, please make sure you put that in the comment box down below. Um, if you just want to dive in deeper, if you want to know a little bit more, um, you can visit us at happilycommitted.com where we have a multitude of different articles and videos and blogs uh, related to this subject and many other subjects as well. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with myself or any of the other amazing coaches that we have, you can book directly through the website. Again, my name is Danny. I'm your life and relationship coach. Wishing you guys health and happiness. See you guys soon.